guys, welcome to the TV show show where we talk about Game of Thrones. And there's a lot of spoilers. So if you haven't watched last night's episode, take a hike, pilgrim. Come back and watch us later. Yeah. After you watch last night's First of His Name episode. That's what it was called, right? Yeah. First yep. of His Name. Even though it was about the ladies mostly. King, yeah, I like how there's a new king crowned and no one cares because no. the episode was about so many more important things. Than no, Tom I mean and this was king. yeah, this was a great <laughs> episode. A lot of stuff happens. We open with Danny mm-hmm. and uh, her uh, troubles with freeing the slaves. Yeah, oh, yeah. deciding to stay in rule, which I think how do you makes feel about sense. That? But also, here's the thing. You know, in a show where you have like filler episodes, where it's like. It's a solid episode, but it's just coming off really cool things and mm-hmm. setting up other really cool things. I feel like this is a filler season. Like it's we're coming off the really? death of no Rob and uh, and Joffrey. Uh, Joffrey. So and many then, things and then have happened. We're already. setting up. I I don't I don't know. I just it feels it feels like it's setting up other bigger things. Danny's camping out. I don't in know that what kingdom, could be bigger than know. Joffrey dying. Arya escaping, Tyrion on trial. Sansa escaping. Tyrion on trial. I'm sorry. Yeah, Sansa, yeah, Sansa escaping. Sansa escaping Tyrion because it's on not trial. it's not moving towards anything. Before we were moving towards who was going to take the throne. We got the clash of the kings and all that stuff. Now we don't have the threat of Danny coming over. Uh, every basically we have the everybody's of the White Walkers. everybody's moving into yeah. def- into the defensive. Yeah, but we're not going to get that. Basically, the cool things that, to be excited about aren't going to happen till later seasons. Tyrion's trial is next episode. Yeah, but that, I'm but excited. what? I mean, what is that? You're not excited. <laughs> I'm not. It's not again. <laughs> yeah, but who cares about no, Tyrion? No, no, no. It's not. It's not it's that I'm not, not excited. It's not, that, it's not that I'm not yeah. excited. It's not that I'm not excited. I think this, is, uh, this has been a really solid season. But like, you look at the fourth season of like Breaking Bad. And you had the the showdown with Gus, and you were mm-hmm. building towards something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You look but at I the fourth season. But I think they knew they were going to end that show. It, well, I I just feel like I'm ready for the show to kick it into a new gear. The second season, the third season, we had that that rush towards the th- towards the throne, and now it's like oh, Tywin's king, and they, like, it's, he's going to be that way for the foreseeable future. I, I is he going to be that I, way for I, the foreseeable future? This is a Game of Thrones, DJ, folks. I think you're slightly insane with what you're saying it's right now because this true. season has been amazing. I was going to say that Steve just said to me this morning, like, this might so much is happening yeah. this season. I, yeah. I mean, all, already, we're four episodes in, right? Four or five? Five, I think, We're yeah. five episodes in, and so many damn things have happened. And Danny is like, she's backtracking a little bit. You think that's backtracking? Well, because she's going back to the places she already conquered. Well, no, she's because staying she where she's at, but she's the conquering right, the whole right. area. But, yeah. she, but, but that is slightly backtracking, because even Jora was like, we need to... I have to say, I loved when she was like, I'm going to learn how to be a queen first. I'm going to learn yeah. how to rule first yeah. before I go in there and take over and then don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, Jorah. Um, Smart. Yeah. No, it makes sense. I'm just ready for uh, dragons. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, dragons have been MIA. Like, like, Don't be that guy, DJ. <laughs> Don't be that guy that's like, it's boring. Where's the dragon? No, it's not, it's not, that, it's, it's the not dragon? that it's boring. It's just I just don't feel like it has the momentum of past seasons. That doesn't make it mm-hmm. bad. That just ma- that just means it's it's uh, setting the stage. A good example is I feel like I feel like the biggest reveal of this episode is that they might be setting up Littlefinger as the main bad guy of the series. Yeah, might out, be. He, he, they he's freaking been, did. No, they he's did. Setting up, sure. He's been setting up everything. All everything. Along. Yeah, that, I mean, I paused the episode and turned to Sarah and said. Littlefinger is the villain. Yeah. Littlefinger is the bad guy of this great. show. Littlefinger has been the one moving yeah, the chess pieces. Yeah, that's not a setup. That's no. a, a reveal. That, that yeah. was a reveal last yeah. night. Yeah, so now we know <laughs> that Ned, all the way yeah, back, everything. Ned becoming everything. the hand of yeah. the king. Yeah. From that was, was, was because all of Littlefinger. Little yeah. 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 It's, it's <laughs> fucking crazy. I mean, and that's cool because Littlefinger is terrifying. He's always been terrifying because yeah. of the way he manipulates every mm-hmm. situation. And he's just, now he's like moving around and he's got Sansa and mm-hmm. it's like, it's terrifying. And by the way, crazy bitch lady. Liza. Yeah. Oh my God, Lazy's out of her, t- <laughs> Lazy is what I'm going to call her. She's out of her. <laughs> She's out of her tits, yeah. and her son's just as crazy. And he, crazy. by crazy. I mean, and also, I love that the kid is like he can't. Like you can already tell, he can't be trusted. He threw yeah. the fucking yeah. gift. Oh, yeah, just right out. Yeah. Right yeah. Like, like no remorse whatsoever. Hilarious. But the thing that you, the thing that upset me the most was, is the mom, is like, this is Sansa. 
But no one can know no, that. Exactly. We're going right? to tell our crazy kid. Yeah, let's tell our crazy be... kid that can't be trusted. I like how well, Sansa... In the, in the book, he never knows that Sansa's his cousin. I like how in... He uh, never sounds knows. like they're going to use they're not, they're not... He's not told because... Sounds like they're establishing... She's smart. not the smartest. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I have to say, as you guys were talking about these characters, Steve French tweeted at Swayze Main said... Aunt Liza of the Veil is super creepy, and her son is still a little shithead. Hashtag TV yeah. show show. Um, and then Fried Egg at Sweaty Pixel says, was really happy for Sansa for a second before you realized she traded yeah. one shit sandwich well, for another. And that's the funny part. I, I feel like Sansa's yeah. whole arc is that that wonderful <laughs> fantasy that, that culture is indoctrinated into little girls of like, I want to be a princess. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what this, you married some weird inbred shit. Yeah. And your life's fucked forever. Like well, that that's, was her uh, downfall from her the start. That's fucked. why I've always been upset with Sansa because mm -hmm. she made the decision to leave uh, Winterfell with uh, to marry Joffrey. Well, to marry I don't think Joffrey. she made that decision. I think well, it was made for. She just she just she had the misfortune of being but excited about. She was about really. It. She was like, I'm gonna go marry a prince because you know? Sansa's like, been bred to follow directions. Like I know, she's raised but like, to be I, a lady. I've I, never forgotten that she was so into marrying Joffrey. Yeah. And it's just been the complete downfall for her character. And last night, when she gets that fucking creepy hug from that lady, <laughs> oh, and so she's creepy. like, you'll be fine here. And she's like, oh, God, I'm fucked again. Like, there's nowhere. <laughs> like, she's, she never gets a moment to relax. She's eating her sweet lemon cakes. Yeah. And she's like, this is great. And then, and no, no, <laughs> you're done, basically. It's no. another shit store. So, Steve. Shit sandwich, like you said. Uh, two episodes ago, I think it was, you were saying that you don't like Sansa's character. Do you feel any differently now? I mean, I still... She's just Is really... this the season where Steve changes his views on everybody? I know. I... You, last week he no. changed his view on Jamie. On Jamie. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm into Jamie. Big time. <laughs> but we'll talk about that after the show because okay. we already dealt with that shit. Here's the thing about Sansa. She's very naive and she's got a lot of learning to do. She still feels like even with everything that's happened to her, she still feels like she lives in this fairy tale world. I thought she much. played Liza yeah. pretty well, well in that scene. Well, right, but after her, like, <laughs> well, she, but she, don't you think she did that on purpose? Well, no, I, feel I like, don't think she was freaking out crying. I think that was very intentional to make Liza feel no, better. I don't think she's that smart. smart. I, she's I think she was definitely freaking out, and that, that's legit. I, I, I am. I really didn't like Sansa, but she at this point has gotten the shit kicked out of her so much. I feel I bad for her. For, I, like, I, look, like she's learned. She on. knows better. She's now. she's learned. I, but look, I'm my. Final thoughts on Sansa, and then I don't want to talk about her the whole rest of this. I want to give you a good tweet though. Is, after you're done. I just feel like I mean, you guys can keep talking about her, but I don't, don't really care to talk about her anymore. But I just think she's really naive. She does. She's been through a lot, man, and it is pretty fucked up. Like, but it almost seems like that type of lifestyle is par for the course in Westeros. In in this. <laughs> Land like everywhere they hurt little well, girls. Yeah, it's exactly, just like, and, like, and the, like uh, Cersei said, like like they hurt little girls everywhere, which is yeah, Game of Thrones. Right, yeah, and then Tyrion true. and Cersei are, or Tyrion, uh, Tywin and Cersei are sitting there, and they're like, let's give them a fortnight to mourn this dead person, yeah. and it's like because people die like everywhere in this place, and you just have to deal with it. You basically. win or you die. And, so, and but like again, I do. I do feel bad for Sansa, especially now that it's like she just keeps getting thrown into these horrible situations. I, I need to read this because someone uh, sent this in via Twitter, but like had to screen cap it because it was too long for a tweet. But I thought it was very well said. Uh, Jeremy Mancini at Mancini1030 said, Danny, Cersei, Arya, Marjorie, etc., all of them strong female leads, all twisted by the wrongs they were put up against. All of them, good or bad, are turned cold hearted and directly made killers and made to survive. However, Sansa is indirectly very, very strong. She is the only female character that has kept her innocence, has kept her little prissy princess ways, has kept her mannerisms, her purity, virginity, Naivete. despite despite everything that has happened. She's the only female character strong enough to push through unchanged. But I also feel like she's reaching a boiling point. Like we might see Sansa <laughs> like lose it, which would be great. That would bring my like you know, time for you to grow up a little you bit. You want her to snap. I, don't I wanna, want her to snap. Yeah. I don't want to sit on this. 
But uh, I just realized that obviously uh, lazy uh, is Liza. A little, <laughs> Liza is not, is not long for this world. Dear Peter, Liza. Peter, and I was like, what if the crazy kid gets thrown out the moon door? Anyway. Because Robin. Peter, yeah, because Pe Peter's Robin. clearly, this is just a stepping stone to bigger things. By He's the not going to stay in that camp. I think my favorite line Ooh. in this episode was, Mom wouldn't let me throw the baby man out the moon door. <laughs> but, like, this is amazing. <laughs> the baby man. Uh, is Robin uh, your new favorite character? No, he's no. a shit. Uh, Steve brought up. Uh, Steve brought up <laughs> Cersei and Tywin, which we find out the Lannisters are broke. Like, yeah, yeah. we've known that though. Have we known that? I feel well, like that. we knew that because the fact Tyrion that going was the so book. hard after the Tyrell, after Marjorie Tyrell. And the Tyrell. But correct me if I'm wrong. We learned of the of their money problems when Tyrion was taken off of the master of the coin or whatever. That may be true. We found out there were some problems, but you didn't know how deep it broke. And also, apparently the Iron Bank is like the IRS of... Uh, <laughs> it sounds they, awesome. They, they, they needs talk, the Iron yeah, Bank. Yeah, because they talk about it the way uh, people talk about the IRS. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't fuck two, the IRS. The two people you don't fuck with are the IRS and uh, uh, well, whatever. And if you guys remember Stannis, uh, they were talking about the Iron Bank too. Yeah, no. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm ready yeah, to talk about that. I, okay, so I have to talk about how Marjorie is like she fucking knows how to play the game. She, I love Marjorie. Like, I'm really liking Marjorie this season because she's like, she knows exactly what to say to Cersei. She knows how to keep her mm -hmm. shit. I mean, she just plays the game perfectly. And that you, whole scene when she's looking over at Tommen and she's and then like Cersei steps into the yeah. frame and you're like, oh shit, it's on, cat fight. Nope. But Cersei comes over and she's like sizing her up and being like, you're going to marry my boy? And she's like, I'm still mourning Joffrey. And she's I like, know. I'm torn up. And dude, I mean, all, no, you're not. Yeah. I know, but like, Marjorie is like fucking, I'm like, dude, you go, girl. You are doing it right, man. She is smart, she's man. Very she's smart. very smart. She's very smart. All right, I want to move real quick uh, north of the wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... All right, let's see. Uh, David Cooper at <laughs> Cooper1214 says, Bran and John were so close, I wanted them to be reunited. Oh, that was so the worst bad. part of the episode. I, I hated like, it. I feel, like that was, I feel like that was kind of stupid. I feel no. like, what, what, would it, what, what would it hurt to have them have a moment of like, oh, yeah. They can't. Cool. Can I oh. tell you yeah, why? They, you know why, they, no, they you know why? You know why they can't? Because the show told you they can't. No, they, they can't they because could've. John would not let Bran go. He, I think that I think he would've. this whole no, plot line, he have. this whole plot line with Locke and the John Brand almost meeting, none of that is anywhere in the book. So it's all Sarah made did, up Sarah for the said TV it was, show. Though. Mm -mm. So it's all made up for the TV Wait, but show. Sarah said the moment when Bran and John could have connected. There was is like a, a really different. Hard. Yeah, but remember, there remember is that a almost, moment, that almost but it's happened. It's not in Crash's I, I think that's the part that frustrates me is we almost had a hookup with them at the end of last season. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's mm. one of those, like, what would have hurt to have a little moment of catharsis where they meet? Well, because the John thinks again. Bran's dead. You, yeah. Br John would not let Bran out of his sight. You know why Especially you say that? Especially if he's, like, traveling through the... He's crippled and he's traveling yeah, through the wall. Yeah, with kids. There's no way John would let that happen. I think, I think a good speech about destiny would have resolved that. No. <laughs> John doesn't want to hear a speech about destiny. He wants to protect what is left of his family. So. His family is dead, basically. You find your brother <laughs> that you haven't seen. When was the last time Bran and John saw each other? Uh, it's been like in Winterfell. for uh, fucking uh, ever. Yeah. Like before John went to yeah. the wall, right? Yeah. yeah. So you find your brother after your, your after Rob dies, after your mom dies, after your dad dies. You don't even know if Sansa's alive because the king's dead now. Like. Uh, you're not gonna let that kid out of your sight. Like, if, if it were me, there's no way I would let him travel off no. into the wilderness with two kids. But he's not. Fucking, he's well, not he just with two kids. <laughs> Jake Smith at J.K. Smith says, "Brand using Hoder to snap Locke's neck was pretty that awesome." Was awesome. I, 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 that sucked. Like Hoder's expression after it happened. Like, oh, you just well, fucked up Hoder. Like, no, forever. no, Hoder's he's not gonna fine. recover from that. No, I he'll, he'll, that too. Yeah, not gonna lie. Not, not no, gonna no, he'll be fine. Like, he doesn't. Oh, Hodor. No. He's a simple-minded creature. Yeah, he and won't... he just like I can't wait till they like, come back to the camp and there's just a bunch of rabbits with snap necks. Like Hodor's like, <laughs> what does it mean? Well, I, Why? I think Hodor's reaction to <laughs> to to killing uh, Locke wasn't one of oh my god I killed someone. It was what just happened. Because yeah. I have blood on my hands. What just happened? Also, oh my god I just killed someone. Right. I mean, but I don't know if Hodor has enough of a 
of an intellectual mind to put it together. I think Bran arc, Bran's arc and Danny's arc have a similar problem in that I think they're, they're connected to some of the most interesting plot lines, but they, they can't resolve themselves until near the end of the show. And so I think yeah, that's why that was, I think that was why this was added because what is, what, what can we have Bran do in the show? Yeah. It's okay in the book if he's gone for like chapters, but in the show it's right. like, we need to have something. And personally, I. I don't know how somebody read the book felt. I thought it was a good subplot. Like, it made sense to me. I I'm, glad, I'm just glad What's Her Face didn't get raped. I'm raped out. <laughs> I'm raped out. Mira. Mira didn't I'm get raped by Creepy Carl. I think uh, if you're raped uh, out, yeah. you should stop watching Game and, of Thrones. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Creepy Carl. There's probably all those, many more rapes. <laughs> creepy, creepy, Carl. creepy Carl, all those stories about him being a good knifesman, it turned out not to be bullshit. Yeah. I was watching was that bite. I'm like, how has he not killed John yet? John um, looks like a... Not like he should survive this fight. I laughed so hard at the end of that fight. And I know yeah. it was supposed to be serious. Sword oh, okay. through the oh, mouth. Oh, you laughed? Yeah. I, well, I think because I was so uncomfortable like the whole time. I cheered. I was like, yeah! When he got, okay, when he got, I laughed because of the girl's reaction. Yeah. The girl who's been raped numerous times by Creepy Carl. Yeah. It's just like sitting there. Sword comes out she's just like, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then he just falls on her. She still doesn't really move. And then John has this awkward moment where he gets down next to her and they just kind of look at each other for a second. And that's when I started laughing. Because I was like, this is... He's like, I just you want to come with me? She just goes, okay. I, I just love that, like, <laughs> that, that kill was for the audience. Like, I don't know if it happens like that in the book. It, well, that I told you that whole subplot. So even doesn't Locke even and Jon Snow doesn't happen at all. No, Locke is based on a character from the book uh, named Vargo Hope, but it's not it's not the same plot okay. line, really. It's well, like then I think that kill was, like, unnecessary, <laughs> but it was awesome. Like, yeah. I'm not knocking the, the yeah. kill, but all I could oh, think of so after funny. it happened was, was, like, wait a minute, Jon Snow decided that he was gonna stab this guy through the back of the head yeah. to kill him. <laughs> like he could have killed him any other way. Oh, but he did it in the so most shocking awesome. way possible. The sword came through the guy's fucking mouth. Yeah. It was, yeah, that was so great. awesome. Okay. The, the Starks love to stick st swords through people's, people's faces. faces. Exactly. <laughs> like Arya fucking yeah. sticking needles. Which that when guy. it comes to needle, it turns out it's good because that the, that sword does not do anything for armor. Yeah, I like, know. And you know. I love the hound and Arya stuff really? this episode too. Yeah. So it was good. a good scene. I just I, I'm glad the hound's yep. still on her list. Dude, that fucking moment when, when she's she, like the final name on my list. And I like, go didn't know on. she was going to say it. No, I didn't know she was going to say I, it. I, I hope I didn't ruin it for everybody that I was watching it with because I was sitting on the couch and I was like, please say the hound. Please say the hound. Please say the hound. Well, fucking Sarah under her breath because like Arya <laughs> takes a beat when she's like, I've got one more name. And then she turns oh, her body. And before yeah. she says it, Sarah's like, I like fuck you. I wanted that. I, like, I, I wanted how, that. I like how unsubtle. Over. Like I, she turns <laughs> over, and I think she's gonna say it quietly to herself to not like, because this is her protector right now. Nah, she don't she give a fuck. The hell? Yeah, Arya's the <laughs> shit, man. She's the shit. She's like gonna be such a badass when she grows up. She's like a fearless little squirt, and I love her. I, I love her so. I much. loved at Mountain Man. Mike said Marin had armor and a big fucking sword. The Hound. Yeah. <laughs> Which just adds to my frustration with the Hound because I love Sergio Farrell. He was awesome. Sergio, yeah. And Sergio. I love Sergio Farrell. And Let's I just love make Sergio. Sergio's yeah. fun. Sergio and Sergio. Sergio and, and Lazy. Real quick, before we go, uh, we can't mend we can't go on without mentioning Brienne and Pod. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, good stuff. Also, yeah. I hear it doesn't happen in the books that way either. Uh, not exactly that way, but Brienne and Pod is definitely a thing. Right, on but, this it, journey. but I hear it's like a way long winded thing until you even find it's out. It's pretty Pod's long winded. Involved. Yeah, Pod isn't like assigned to her. Like right, he like escapes or something. Yeah, but they cool kind of dynamic. find each other. And it's, and it's cool to see. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I really liked that after, especially all after. I'm glad that the show's smart enough that even though it puts a, a lot of hardship on women, to give them moments like we saw in the show between Cersei and Marjorie and mm -hmm. uh, Brienne and the fact that the reason that a uh, uh, creepy face knife guy was murdered was because of one of the girls <laughs> that he betrayed. You know what I mean? Like he, he was torturing. You know what I mean? Like, like you give you, you give the women a, a moment yeah. to really shine and show that they're, their strength within the show and I really appreciate it. I yeah. feel like the series on the whole is full of very strong women. Yeah. I agree. I think that's mm -hmm. cool. Especially for if, they're, if there's even some skew of historical accuracy in the medieval type areas like the women mm -hmm. were definitely had it bad in the medieval times big time they so, hurt little girls everywhere yeah also i have to mention i teared up slightly when when uh john and ghost were reunited 
That made me good. so happy. It's good man. to have him back. You and and Ghost even got a kill. I know. I just love, but I love Ghost so much. Ghost is the uh, best. How about Ghost's wicked kill? Oh yeah, uh, Ghost <laughs> yeah. Kill. Ghost ate well that night. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. Cause that fucking uh, asshole was like torturing him with pouring the water on the uh -huh. ground and stuff. That's that awful, man. Yep. But I just loved that reunion. It made me so happy. Ghost got his when he was running through the woods, I was like, is it going to be Ghost or a White Walker? And then they saw the cage, I'm like, Ghost. Well, it's obviously Ghost. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, well, I don't know, maybe it wasn't that obvious. It was obvious to me. Oh, that moment when Bran and John are like right there. Like, it just tore me up. Mm -hmm. Like, and Bran's just like, John! John! And she's like, and the fucking brat is like, we've got to go to that dumb tree. It means everything that we got to go know, to that dumb know, tree. Every time, every time they say, a dumb brat. every time, every time but they I say, just who's, who's clearly going to die from being set on fire. Something's going to happen. No, but, no, 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 no. He, that was just his prediction of. Mm -mm. He said, you'll know when the end comes. And he's looking oh, right, his hand right, right. on fire. And nobody got set on fire tonight. I was paying That's attention. Uh, the other thing, uh, every time they say, like, he'll meet you at the tree and the trees are spiritual. It's like, I want it to be Ned. Let it okay. be Ned. I want it to be like Ned's blue ghost. I want blue ghost Ned. <laughs> blue how blue satisfying would that be? Like, it's just to That's see your Ned. prediction. Just because of how great, how great it back. had when uh, Danny was having that vision in season two and it was, uh, it, and we saw uh, Drogo again. Yeah. How satisfying would it be to see Ghost? It'd be cool, but like, like I, hey, here's how to kill White Walkers. It's but you know Great. what it is, DJ. It's too much hope. Like yeah. we can't. There's no such thing. You gotta have hope as somewhere hope in the damn show. I and disagree. If we, if Again, we got, I go back to George R. R. Martin's a secret and romantic. He makes things really hard so that when the good things happen, they feel that much more satisfying. Oof. Um, all right. Well, right now I want to bring my favorite segment of the show, which is well, find out what Will thought of last night's episode. Will, Will. get yeah, it. Right. 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 What? Tell now, us what, what you did you think about last night's, night's episode? Yeah. You guys may have overlooked the most important part of the episode. What was that? When Darthro overthrew the castle, yeah. he used his sword yeah. to overcome the entire battle. The White Walkers are now being opposed by the Orange Walkers, which are just like the Black Walkers, yeah. but the pigment has changed. The pigments oh. change. When they change color, they're able to walk through walls and steal things like a, <laughs> like a stuff. Yeah, like now, stuff. <laughs> now, my biggest opinion, though, Jon Snow is the only one able to defeat the Orange Walkers because he originated from the first side. <laughs> That's a great prediction. You know what? I overlooked that completely. I must have missed that part. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Thank you, I appreciate that. This is my thank opinion. You. Thanks a lot, man. Glad you stopped by to let us know what you You're thought. You're the man, dude. So thank you guys so very much for watching the TV show show. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and click on the annotation to see some other things. And like Trisha said, let us know if you think this season is uh, just filler stuff until bigger things happen next season. Set up, uh, not filler. Set up. A setup. Do you think this season's just a setup for bigger or, stuff? Or is there stuff going on right in the here and now? Yeah. What do you or is like, it as exciting like, as we like, think it is? I feel like my opinion's being twisted around. I'm not oh, saying it's not. You ask it. You I'm ask not, it. I'm you not ask saying it, it's not exciting. I'm just saying it's it's build up. We're in a transition season. That's what I would say. It's a transition okay. season. So do you guys think it's a transition season? Let us know in the comments down below. Yay! Yay! Like, subscribe, Yay. annotation, Game of Thrones! Don't don't give us don't don't give us don't don't give us don't don't give us don't. Mhm. Is that when he playing the song? <laughs> He's sprinkling fairy dust. On <laughs> it's like playing music. Oh, is that uh, how you play piano? Yeah, of course. You give me lessons. Yeah. This is the C you just, chord. You just flick your fingers across the keys. This is the, this, this, this is the D chord. <laughs> <laughs>